Hello everyone, my name is James from Trix, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be going over how to get the most out of your Trix Panorama AIO with the Trix Canali software. This guide will serve as a comprehensive overview to get you started on your customization, optimization, and more. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's first start off by going where you can download Canali. You'll want to download it from our official website at www.trikeszone.com. From here, you can navigate to Software and then click on Canali. Once you're in the Canali page, you can go ahead and click on the Download button at the top. Once you've installed Canali, you'll be greeted with a home screen. But before you do anything here, you'll first want to go into the settings and make sure that Canali is fully up to date. Once everything is up to date, you can go ahead and click on Panorama located on the left side of the home screen. If you don't see your Panorama device showing up on the left hand side, you'll want to make sure that your motherboard BIOS and Windows operating system is completely up to date. Now that we're in the Panorama home screen, starting at the top, you'll see that there is a preset and a customization option. Right now, we'll just go through the preset options. Moving to the right, you have the option to turn your screen on and off, as well as additional menus for things like sleep mode, if you want to turn your display off when you put your PC to sleep or shut your PC down, brightness controls, VRM fan speed, and mirror mode. Mirror mode is intended for PC builders who built in cases where the panorama orientation is installed upside down. Turning this feature on, will flip your display upside down, allowing you to use the panorama in that mounting style. Next up, we have preset graphics from Trix. If you want to have fun and take full advantage of the naked eye 3D effect, you can choose any of the preset motion graphics our team has created, and it will automatically preview on the panorama. For me, I think I'll go with preset number four, as it has some really cool and unique colors and shapes. Moving down, we have the system information display. Here, you can customize certain PC monitoring tools such as CPU and GPU temps, frequencies, usage, and voltages. For today's demonstration, let's go with CPU and GPU temps and CPU frequency. From there, we can choose if we want the text of the information to be black or white. I'll choose black in this case since my background is on the lighter side. Next to the text color, you can choose which side of the information you want it to show on, either the left, the middle, or the right side. I'll choose left side for now. If you want to add additional flare or cool effects to your display, you can click on filter and utilize any of the preset filters we've made to make your experience more unique. For me, I'll choose the rain filter. Now that we've done our basic setup, we'll click save and now your panorama will be showing all of the information and background graphic that you chose. Awesome. Now you're ready to use your panorama AIO and really enjoy the unique visuals when displaying your PC. If you want to customize your panorama even more, good news. In this next section, we'll go over how to really customize your AIO to your liking. Clicking on the customization tab at the top gives us the main interface of Canali when looking at the customization features for your panorama. Here, you'll see two sections, full screen mode and screen splitting mode. If you want your panorama display to only show one image, video, or GIF, you'll want to go with full screen mode. If you want to have two medias that you want to display, then screen splitting mode is the one you'll want to use. Canali comes with an in-app recording feature which allows you to capture whatever you want without having to use another program. Going back to the main screen here, I'll upload a video I took with the Canali screen recording function. For me, I chose a scene from one of my favorite animes this year, Free Ren. Once uploaded, we have the option to loop the same video, shuffle through multiple videos, or just play a single video. In this case, I took the screen recording with an intention to loop the video. After the video is uploaded and chosen, you can click save and you're all finished. The screen splitting mode works in the same way, but this time we'll need to choose two different medias to display, one on each side.
After choosing the play mode, we have the same features to customize that we saw in the preset mode. This includes filter settings, text color, text placement, and monitoring tools. After I've chosen my options, here is the final result. And that about covers all you need to know about how to install and use Canali to really customize your Trix Panorama AIO. If you want to learn more about our products and software, you can visit our website at www.trixzone.com. If you want to stay up to date on new product announcements, updates, launches, and anything else, feel free to give us a follow on YouTube, X, Facebook, Instagram, or you can join our subreddit at Trix Global. You can also join our global newsletter if you want to stay in the loop. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you all in the next video.